Eddie, welcome to Brooklyn. Great to have you. Thanks, mate. Oh, just getting used. This chair's too tall for me. I got short legs over here. Daddy, I'm glad you brought this up because the slide. Sarah's been cooler. swiveling all show long. <laughs> I've been all over the place. Yeah, no seriously. worries. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, Patty, you know, it, it was interesting following um, just the the free agency news and seeing the contending teams that were serious suitors for you. You know, we we heard about the Lakers, we heard about the Warriors, and obviously the Nets. I'm sure there were others as well. But what made Brooklyn the right fit for you? Well, look, it was so um, it was such an extraordinary circumstance because it was in the heat of the Olympics. Yeah. Um, and where my head was in the trenches of trying to win Australia our first Olympic medal in, in basketball, um, to know that free agency was coming to a, you know, a, a clash um, made it that much more, I guess, tough to make a decision. But um, look, there was a, you know, a number of reasons why, why I'm here. Um, but I think, first of all, it was a conversation that I had with, with Kevin um, purely about basketball that put me in a mindset of, of purpose for a championship and, and being a piece of the puzzle to try and um, bring a, a championship to, to Brooklyn. So um, that and a, a mix of many other things, um, you know, and, and day one here today, very, very excited. Patty, I know everyone is excited about this NBA season, the Brooklyn Nets season, but you mentioned that, Kevin, in the Olympics. And I think for all of us, looking at some of the photos, the videos of you two together, but what you were able to do for Australia, winning the first medal, that experience as a whole, can you put that into context for all you have accomplished? throughout the course of your basketball career. Can you take us back to that moment and put into context what that was like for you? Yeah, it's it's been about a month and a half since uh, we were up on the podium and I'm still trying to piece together exactly, um, you know, what we were able to accomplish and uh, I guess the impact that it's had on our whole country as well. So very exciting times. Um, you know, it's one of those things that when you step onto the podium and you understand you've got the country on your back, it's just full of uh, emotions and tears, you know, rolling down the the face but something that's obviously you take a lot of pride and, and passion in representing your country when you get that opportunity um, but I think for me personally just to be able to go out there and and be free and, and play to the, the ability of, of what I know I'm capable of and especially to have the practice games against um, you know USA and, and Kevin and then to play against him I think you know there was a bit of um, you know respect there that I think I earned from from my new teammates so it was good to have a little interaction there afterwards with our medals on um, very cool very cool moment patty when you've been an nba champion and, and you've been an olympic gold medalist and you've competed in both international and nba competition at the highest level as often as you have with the spurs and, and with australia what does that do for you in just kind of shaping the poise you have in big moments i mean and how important is that going to be for your experience here with this team trying to chase a championship yeah, well, I think one thing is to to always um, have the ability to want to learn and, and want to grow and find um, different ways to be able to help you um, get better. Um, so that's one, and, and, you know, obviously being on, on the Australian team, I can kind of piece all of that together yeah. um, and being poised and comfortable in those um, clutch moments, I, I guess. Um, but I think being able to play for Australia and, and be that role and play that role, um, you know, gives myself a lot of um, comfortability and, and confidence to be able to, to bring here. But, um, you know, now being here and, um, you know, being an important part of this piece of the puzzle for a championship um, is what gives, gets me very excited. But I think it's the purpose, right? Being, um, you know, having all that experience in the past of NBA championships and um, and playing for Australia, I think that the purpose is, is what makes me tick. And being here and knowing that um, a championship is, is what we're after here, um, you know, really gets me going. There has been such an ease, as there should be, from all the players we've sat down with talking about championship aspirations and, and uh, using that is the focus and as the goal. Many players last year talked about unfinished business. When you look at this roster and the depth th that is provided by it, uh, how do you, what's your perspective on just the areas that you need to really look at now at this early part of the preseason as you get set for training camp that becomes so important for a group like this with new pieces to come together? 
Yeah, well, it starts in the locker room and it starts off the court. And I think um, for everyone that has come from different places um, and sacrificed a lot to be able to uh, be here, I think being able to come together and um, camaraderie and the gel that, that happens in the locker room and off the court um, can translate to, to the success on the court. So I'm looking forward to, to that and being able to be, you know, a little bit of that piece of trying to, um, you know, continue to bring the, the, the team together of different players. And and be a part of that as well. Um, I think going onto the court and then letting the natural ability of um, high caliber, you know, basketball players that, that we have here. And um, look, I think that's that's the first thing that I think, you know, I'm excited about is just being a, a good teammate for, for everyone out here and, and get everyone excited for um, this journey that, that we're all in, embarking on together. Um, but now to be, you know, the new guy on the block um, and, and find my way, I think I'm really looking forward to, to that as well. Are you You've been coached by Greg Popovich for a very long time. You come here uh, to Steve Nash. What's? It, it, I'm sure there's a, a lot of pearls of wisdom that you're going to take with you for always from Greg Popovich. But what are what are some of the things that stand out most to you, Patty, when you think about your NBA experience that are at the top of the list of things you learned from Pop that you know you're going to carry with you here in Brooklyn? Um, that there's a life out there um, that's much bigger than basketball. Um, and, and yes, when you come to work and you roll the ball out, um, you know, it, it's very competitive and there are a lot of things there that you you have to um, you learn from and, and you want to get better and, and all of that. But I think to, for the first one, it, it would be that there's a life out there that, that's bigger than basketball and having that perspective mm. um, and worldly knowledge in, in that sense. Um, you know, there wasn't one day that went by that, you know, we didn't learn one fact about um, the world and what was going on in the world. And I think that's very important because when you come to work and you come to play, you give it your all, you empty the tank, and then when you leave, you know, you can um, appreciate what's what's good about the world and um, refuel the tank for when you come back again. So I think that's a, a very important point that, that I've learned is to keep your horizons open and understand that, um, you know, we're only... A, a small factor of um, what's going on out there. Yeah, it's beautiful. It, and that is the truth, Patty, and part of a big reason probably why Sean sat down here and he called you a culture driver um, in, in getting out there. When you think about coming to Brooklyn, and, and not just with the Brooklyn Nets, but the, the borough of Brooklyn and the city of New York, uh, having spent so much of your career in San Antonio, uh, what are you looking forward to most? What's excited you most? And, and how much have you ventured out in the area to this point? Oh, yeah. I've been here for a week and every day we've been out and about and getting to um you know be amongst the the, the city of brooklyn and um meeting people and um you know just i guess appreciating and, and coming to understand um what it means to represent brooklyn i guess and i think for me being um a, a culture guy um i get a lot of um a lot of good and a lot of inspiration drawn from things like that so just you know talking to local people um you know listening to the old man on the corner and a quiet little neighborhood talking about music um you know the food the the arts even the building you know i'm looking forward to really um understanding more about brooklyn and and the people here um we've got a dog too so there's a lot of dogs that i know <laughs> he might get along well with um what he kind might, of dog he's a golden doodle oh. um and he's an island dog too so i think he's going to stand out with all the city dogs <laughs> that are prancing around a bit um but yeah look I, i'm really getting forward to to really immersing myself in the culture of Brooklyn to have a, a greater understanding of what it means to be able to put this jersey on and, and represent the city. Well, when you need restaurants, Patty, I'm just going to say I'm your guy. Sarah can attest to it. When you need restaurants in this city, I'm your guy. All, all right. right. Your Enough restaurants, coffee maybe, coffee spots. Yeah, you could do that, right? Do you come that. with some coffee spots for Patty? Uh, ask Joe. Oh. Ask there you go. All right. I'll leave it to Joe. No ask worries. Joe. I'll come up with some other, <laughs> some other good spots. Patty, it's great to have you here. Congratulations uh, on the deal with Brooklyn. Safe travels to San Diego. We look forward to watching you. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks Thank for having you, me.